wheels on the bus going round, damn round. Got the wheels on the bus going round, damn round. Uh, ooh, yeah, wheels going round, damn round, yeah. And we rolling, rolling, rolling through your town, yeah. Hey, round and round and round and round and round. What's good, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Big Ugly Sports Show brought to you by the Bank of Dudley. We are your first source for mediocre, below average sports coverage. Glad you're here with us on this spring break. Spring break week for us three teachers in here. So I'm sorry. Hi. Go ahead. What'd you say? Yeet, yeet. There he is. There he is. So we're glad you're here with us this morning. We got a lot to talk about. A little Braves baseball. We got the final four set in men's and women's. And we've got a height showing in the Dudley Little League. So we're going to get to all that. But first, let's bring on the other two suckers that are in here with me this morning. He's sitting over here to my right. Y'all know him. He's a UGA graduate. He is a diehard dog. He can make a bottle of mouth wash stink. He looks like you bit a brick. Y'all get on your feet. Stop what you're doing. Clap. Yell. Whatever you need to do for the pride of Buddy Johnson Road. I'm talking about Adam Height. High Tower. Good morning on this warm spring break Tuesday. Man, no heater needed this morning here? Mm-hmm. Short sleeves and his short shorts. Talk to me. He's got his hat on backwards. He had a cup of coffee in the Marines. They call him Short Starry Long. Survives daily off of five-hour energy shots. He's an idiot. He is a war eagle for life. I'm talking about the bear, Mitch Lawhorn. Morning, fellas. <laughs> No, I don't sign, re- no sign for the people this morning? I don't remember when uh, oh, I didn't. When we added that he's an idiot. You did. You did in the, the, oh, did. the one intro. You said. But I like it. Zero. I think you said 0% research, 100% idiot. <laughs> so That's not true. Yeah. You're a passionate idiot. So well, There you go. You got to be passionate about things you like. That's true. You do. You do. Be passionate about things you're passionate about. Got to. A, you got to. You got to do that. Hey, we do appreciate you joining this morning. Wherever platform you're listening on, make sure you are subscribed. We love to be able to track uh, how many people we've got listening to each week, how many uh, people are subscribed. We're up, I think, 309 on YouTube, so slowly creeping up, getting closer to that 2,000 mark on Facebook, and just gradually making it. We always say big, ugly to the end of the world, but we got a long way to go to get to the end of the world. There's a lot more than 300 people. I think it's the first time you said to the end of the world. Normally we it's always say it. to the moon. We always, well, that sounds so much better, but Bob does sports says that. Who? <laughs> exactly. Look at my, mom, my mom said uh, yesterday, hey, you still got your TV show? <laughs> yeah. Are we still on I 35? Said, yeah. I was, I, yeah, every week I give it okay. to them. Yep. Now, whether they played or not, I don't know because I don't have TV 35, but. I just liked that she said it was my TV show. <laughs> well, you said y'all's. <laughs> She said, you're. She said, you're a TV show. Oh, so she said, poor thing. Boy, she she don't she know. Not, this she, is the peak of, of you being her son. This is her proudest a, moment. Yeah, you have a TV show. <laughs> it's, I can finally live up to Jamie's standard. <laughs> Jamie has <laughs> set the bar real high as Dr. Lawhorn. I Dr. Dr. Lawhorn is the chief. But when I got my own TV show, now, now I'm there. <laughs> you've, got, you've got Dr. Lawhorn who's achieved... You know, his doctor in teaching and almost the highest you can go in military service. And you've got Law, who's got his own podcast with a few people that follow. So <laughs> I say neck and neck. I, no, listen, <laughs> and I mean this, you are impacting more people with this than he does as that a doctor. That is true. Oh, no doctor. question. I mean, that's, and that's what I'm about. A little bird? A little bird? Yeah, springtime spring. action there. I said that the bug crack is shocking. Uh, maybe they're maybe not roosting that. in here. Law, you a little bit upset we haven't this early, ain't you, on spring well, break? Well, it's the whole point. Y'all had it early so Jake could be on here. And then no, you no, no the, whole, the whole point of having it early was for me. God, oh, dude. Law just wanted to sleep a little bit. I was, for certain, we was doing it tonight, and Reed was cooking for us. Mm. And we got all kind of sound effects this morning. Got vehicles riding by, I, birds chirping. <laughs> I had done let Alien. I said, Reese cooking for us. We're bringing the kids over to swim at Jay's pool. Did, did Jay not go like, I mean, that when he said what he said in the text, like, it just brought me straight to Raji. Like, <laughs> hey, if y'all are doing it in the morning, I'm out. Like, if you're not going to do it on my, if you're not going to do it when I want to do it, I'm out. Like, <laughs> but even even when it was said, we'll do it in the afternoon, uh, Jay cook us something. I don't cook on, I don't cook on Tuesdays. That's the reason that. <laughs> Mother's got them scheduled. <laughs> Money to the Wednesday, that's right. And, he, and he's not willing to bend on that. None. No. He was, he was pissy that we wouldn't do it. The bus cup has lost its thing. It brought him here for a couple of weeks to contend. But, Wade, I'm, you just got to make that prize real good to make it where Jay is regretful for not showing. Wait, it's, all it's going to take, Wade, is just a couple more weeks. Adam will definitely miss. And then I'll be in. I'll be back at the top. I'm You're so top. far back, I could probably miss two weeks and be good. 
And just because height misses, don't I'm guarantee only seven you. behind you, I think. No, you less than that. Boom. We'll get there. We'll get well, there in segment two. But and if I win today, we're close. Let me see. If I, well, I'm only getting two points today, apparently, or something. No, we'll do. We'll do four. We'll, okay. I, I decided. I was I, you were we right. Gotta that. Do. that ain't fair. They, they decided. I listened Obi to you. Decided here. not to yeah. come. Could you mute him? Because yeah, you had can. something to say there. Well, yeah, he. But I feel like I'm out of breath. I don't know what's going on. Well, I'll give it's you like two. I can give you two guesses why. There's a baby sitting in my lap. I got. Can I guess one? Yeah. That early morning long dark. Yeah. <laughs> You know who lo- who continually every time they see me tells me how much they love any 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 smoking any lung dart anything at Mitch Lat Cowboy Killer anything Spanky Slaughter <laughs> live for it like he's hysterical telling me about it how we talked about it each, each show every time he sees me he loves it I don't like the it. other one is but morbid I don't obesity morbid obesity morbid obesity <laughs> <laughs> went to morbid obesity. First of all, I, uh, last week when you said throat good, Jamie had to look that up, by the way. No idea what How good that? I, hope how, I, I wonder how much that, that search. I hope it is. How much is that doctor coming in handy when you say stuff like that? He ain't got a clue. Exactly. This family-friendly show after he looked it up. <laughs> by the way, fans, don't look that up. <laughs> what, what, this what the, inappropriate guy. It was in reference to how impressive you were gobbling down some glizzies on that golf course. <laughs> and I didn't see many people have a throat like that. I like And the goat would be the greatest of all time. You're the greatest of all time. Well, that's what what I, I, he's probably behind Joey Chestnut. Who's Joey Chestnut? Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh yeah, he said this in the cart when we were playing. I made that comment when we were playing. He's like, who's that? And I was like, the hot, I thought it was a, some a Japanese guy. It was a Japanese it guy. It used to be, but Joey, Joey has. So Joey's bad. American, dude. No, I checked that. Hey, and right now, I feel like I can compete. It's the bread. How are we going to run a sports show and you don't know who Joey Chestnut is? That's a sport. Because it's not a sport. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, competitive. Right, is spelling be a sport? It's on ESPN. If well. you can bet on it in Vegas, it's a sport. That's what, <laughs> that's what uh, my buddy Ernest used to say. If you can bet on it in Vegas, it's a sport. Say it again. If One you can time. bet on it in Vegas, it's a sport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, um, it, well let's, let's talk a little March Madness. Uh, we can we can talk about the bus March Madness law is currently still sitting atop of that in first place, but he has Houston win. There's his only shot is my if, other brackets got UConn. Yeah, but you don't need UConn. You want somebody ahead of you. You need UConn to lose. You need everybody to lose. Essentially, you need every. No, no my other bracket. If UConn wins, I, I can still win it with the other. There's bracket. no way for me to win, but there's a way for me to get second. Second, it does get, pay. I'm gonna tell you what second is no money. No, it does. Does it? it? Does. There's a third place payout too, dumb dumb. I hate. Mm. I hate when I take my time to send out <laughs> stuff to communicate with these people. They're in this email that and says the, and the, the head, pride. Yeah, it's, it's like, like he's never, never seen it. <laughs> hey, you know why? Because I, you, you said when I put in my brackets first of all, you said uh, not a chance. All you do is just put randomize and it just it just fills itself in. I've never. First of all, I've never done that. I did Law. fill it in with the expert pick yes. one time. And one the historic. Time. And one, and I won. He went, listen, the first time I did it with him, he went. I was I was I taking my brackets. time looking at, you know, trying my best to figure it out. He gets on his, he clicks a button up there that says experts picks and submits it. And then the next one, historic picks and submits it. And won that year. <laughs> and won. That's what I did. But this year, tell him, I, it took me a little while to come because I kept changing. I kept yep. changing my bracket. You're not going to win. I hate to tell you what. Man, I hope I win. Yeah, I hope but, I win. Because you told me I could. There's not a chance I could win. For the betterment of the show, though, we need a listener to win, not you. So, anyhow, that's where we are. But in, in the men's Final what? Four, in the men's Final Four, we've got NC State, which is 11 seed. So, an 11 seed is impressive um, to make it to the Final Four. They're playing Purdue. That's at 6 09 on Saturday. And then the night game at 8 49 will be Alabama at UConn. That'll be a much anticipated matchup to watch. Alabama is on a, on a very good run, knocking off. North Carolina and the likes. So, and UConn has just been sleeping people all the way through. I mean, they boat race everybody. I know. It. That's I think, why you picked them. I think if no, I think if UConn wins, uh, JD, JD, Carter. JD may, yeah. may end up winning. It. Yeah. Like I said, you wouldn't win. I, but no, my second bracket's gonna put me in second. If UConn wins, I'll, I'll get second. Yeah. My other bracket. You don't want second though. I don't. I want to win the big yeah. money. So and then the uh, so that will we'll, that comes back on Saturday. On Friday, uh, you've got the women's final four, which will be NC State. Uh, playing against South Carolina, a three seed at a one seed, and then UConn and Iowa. So NC State and UConn and Iowa. No, I'm sorry, NC State and UConn oh. both have their teams in the Final Four. Shout out Chase Horn, NC State. Horn, State. NC State. He texts me. He texts yeah. me after. He said, "How about them pack?" <laughs> That's a oh. new world order. 
Did y'all? He probably, like. he probably didn't get that reference. Uh, I, he didn't really didn't taste. I said NWO. He didn't taste back. So okay, maybe that's he don't a, get it. That's what this mug did when he wanted to stay the same here. Whoop that. So y'all didn't get to watch it. I know y'all. You don't have TV at height in your new house and law. Just who knows? But the women's final four was last night, and um, sure. you know, women's. I know height made a comment last week that 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 hurt some people. Hurt some people about college about women's basketball. Um, not being important. Well, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, How'd say that? Yeah, I did. Surely he would never say anything that's sexist. Yep. No, I might say some things that are controversial, but not not sexist. sexist. I no. think I think. Quite often, you're sexist. Pig. Pig. Yes. So, uh, I like, I like myself. I love women. This women's basketball is, I feel like, is now in the spotlight more than it has been in a long time, if ever. And a lot of it was because of the game last night. Uh, Caitlin Clark, Clark and I were playing against Angel Reese and LSU. Um, and they had some, some beef from when they played. I believe it was last, last year. year. LSU won. And they got the hand face, you know, in my face and stuff like that. But man. <laughs> Caitlin Clark. <clears throat> She's the real deal. Bucket. She had 41 last night. I mean, she is. And, and she did hit six or seven. Dad, did her dad say to take No, nah, he was again? cheering for her. <laughs> she hit six or seven threes and not narrow one of them were near to the arc. I mean, they just pull them deep. So, leads me to question. Two questions for you guys. Could Caitlin Clark, 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 could Caitlin Clark play men's college basketball? No. I'm not saying it at your blue bloods. I'm just saying, yeah. All right. Could she, How high could? What level could she play at? Mercer. Mercer's pretty Division good. Division one. Uh, Mercer boys were pretty good this year. I mean, they didn't make the. I, could, I, could, I mean, I think could, could she play in a power she, five school? No. Nah. What would be what? What would what would make you say no to that? I'm just curious. How tall is she? Mm-hmm. Not very tall. Yeah. Um, she's not even six foot. She's smaller, weaker, um, slower. She's six foot. Okay. Smaller, weaker, slower. Can't jump as high. This guy says but shooting is shooting. Okay. So is so is defending and blocking shots and, den- and denying passes. I mean, part part of her having shots is getting open. She's not getting open. Hey, these birds are going going to town on here. Yeah, this is let's just try to ignore him. He can't. You know how he is. He just locked in. He he didn't hear anything Squirrel. you just said. <laughs> 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 what do you think, Law? Could uh, she play? I don't. I don't think she could play. I don't. I think it's why they have two different divisions. I mean, if if girls could play in boys' sports, then let me see, there would let me be think. one. I, I I I need to edit that. Not Mercer. That's too much. Too high. Um, what's what's that school down there in Twainsboro? East Georgia. East College. Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm just kidding. Where'd you play, Chuck? <laughs> no, no. There you go. She could make that. She'd she, be. She definitely could. She would, she would dominate that league. There. She would dominate. Now she could have definitely played there. I'm not. I'm not saying she wouldn't be better than some boys. She's gonna be better than some boys. She's better than me. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's gonna dominate me in basketball. But, I'm but not you don't play college ball. I don't. I'm not a basketball player. Right. Mm. So if she's at Mercer, she she's on the bench. He goes she's back. On the team? He goes back she's to the debate. Team. She's okay. on the bench. It goes back to the debate. Why does the women in the WNBA not make as much as the men in the NBA? Why? Because nobody because, cares to watch it. Well, not that has that. to be a lot of it. Yes, and because none of them could play in the NBA. If they if they did play, I mean, surely it's might, got more to do with TV and things like money yeah, coming in, I mean, generated ticket sales. What what they need is like the you know, LSU the LSU Iowa fuss fight. I mean, you get yeah, a couple was, of them rivalries like that in the WNBA. People want to watch it. Well, that thing was slammed last night. But house college function. college basketball is different because you have all these uh, loyalties from people who went there or whatever right. and you don't have that same loyalty with Which women's have, basketball but I have no loyalty to either LSU or Iowa no, but I did no, want to but, watch that game I just didn't know they were but playing but that's kind of what drives all of it is because you do have fan bases that are built in and those people start following a story and then it gets big but, and then now now national media has picked it up but I guarantee there's rivalries in the NW WM, what is it called? NWO? <laughs> WNBA. WNBA. That's what they need. Man. They get a couple fish fights out there. Right, listen, if they start beat. throwing some folding chairs out there, on you coming? Court, on, 
I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, those games are set. I'm, I'd like to see Iowa and win it just because I enjoy watching her play. And I, I don't really watch women's basketball like that, but it's they fun to watch. They get by South Carolina? That's going to be – I don't well, – they got to – that would they be play a fun game. Thing. So I, I, want, I really wanted LSU to win so that LSU would play South Carolina again because that was a that was a big to do. Well, all the all the fighting and pushing and shoving in that game. It would be something for Kate, Caitlin Clark to to w- with her being the leading scorer with an asterisk there to win it. Why is it an asterisk? Because Pete Maravich they didn't have three point line whenever he uh, and you couldn't play as a freshman then either. I got you. He would boat race her as far as point score. Is good. there? Do you think? This is speaking to both of y'all at any level of women's college basketball. Do you think the most Rudy Poot college in? Could I play? Yes. Could you? Could you start? No. Are you, you better can. than girls on that? Like team? right now? Currently? No. I couldn't. How long ago? If if I were in my early twenties and I trained to play basketball, 100%. no, 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 not I'm talking no, well, no training. Like okay. let's say you're in your early twenties and you yes. didn't play basketball in yes. school. Really. Yeah. I've seen that. I've seen that what's, the, range, what's the lowest level of college, girls basketball? D three. D three. I'm maybe. in there. No. Defensive specialist. I don't think he is either. I don't know you are. Defensive specialist. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't really know me in my prime, too. <laughs> Defensive specialist. I don't think you could start for West Lawrence. One hundred percent. Right now. You could start for West Lawrence right now. Oh, West Lawrence girls. Yeah. No. Right now, no. I'm. I make it up the court twice, and I'm done. In, in shape, like let's yeah. say fatigue's oh, yeah. not an issue. Oh yeah. Just, sk- just uh-huh. the skill you have now, fatigue not an issue though. Skill I have now, yes, because I guarantee I can average six, eight, ten points a game and grow. And just do double, double digits. Double, double, double digits. Hey, double, double, double. You sure. gonna get that many rebounds too? Uh, sure he can. Yeah, he, he'll have more rebounds than points for sure. My girl Z is boxing you up. You know, what? if I'm on her team, I'm probably just had, getting rebounds and stealing, stealing the ball. How you passing T, it? T's getting up there over. Well, no look. <laughs> I saw you jump when you hit that putt. There's not a chance. That's I wish Roger right. was here. It's not Rod me now. Would, it's not Roger me now. would be going in on you right now. I wish he was here to talk about this. <laughs> Listen, hold on now. I've seen Roger play, and he made a boy's team. Okay? That's true. And he's not athletic at all. But you didn't know him then. Well, I, him, did see, I did see that photo of him and his boy playing basketball with the uh, truck lights shining on him from like 20. <laughs> no, he didn't. You didn't see that? No. Oh, I'll show it to you. You got to find that. And he's like standing there. With, you know how you can like do your, what are these? Traps. traps? Like standing there like this. And the caption is him and Fat Phil, I think, shirtless. What? Both of them shirtless. Well, this was, Sorry, Phil. This was back when Phil Phil's was like medium Phil's Phil. Yeah. Does Roger have work. traps? First of all. No, it's fake. You're like, you know how you can do that. That's just fat on his neck. It's like this fat neck. <laughs> well, he's got plenty of that. <laughs> and, and it's like, he's real proud to catch this, me and my boy hooping with the truck lights on. <laughs> <laughs> Please find this picture. It's on if Facebook. you can get it to me, I'll, I'll put it on here right now okay. for the people. So that would Here be it awesome. is now. Well, I have to clear that with Raj. I mean, really? it's still on. Well, he, you know, I don't want him to get he's, upset with me. He's going to find some pictures. We'll clear it. Persuade him. We'll clear it. Okay. All right, y'all. It's that time. It is time for us to take a commercial break. On the other side, we're going to talk some Braves baseball. And like I – well, first off, we've got the Buzz Cup on the other side. Then we're going to talk Braves baseball. And you got to stay tuned for Heights Dudley Little League incident. People are talking about it. So, y'all, <laughs> stay with us. We will be right back. New year, new financial goals. Whether it's saving, investing, or planning for the future, we've got your back. Visit Bank of Dudley today, and let's make 2024 your year for financial success. Bank with confidence at Bank of Dudley. Since 1905, member FDIC. This is Brad Meeks, owner of Brian's Giant Subs. Thanks for listening to the Big Ugly Sports Podcast. Come see us today to grab your favorite sub. 1632 Veterans Boulevard in the Oaks Shopping Center, Dublin, Georgia. J2 Streaming Services. With over 9,000 live channels and packages starting at $15 per month, you literally can't beat it. Visit them on the web at www.j2streaming.com. Proud sponsor of the Big Ugly Sports Show. For all your HVAC needs, please call Elite Comfort Solutions. We specialize in commercial and residential HVAC. The number is 833-483-HVAC, and the website is www.elitecomfortsolutions-inc.com. Call for a free quote today. Big Peach Car Wash. 
coming this April across from Walmart on Highway 80. I hadn't washed my truck in five years. I'm breaking that streak this April. Welcome back to the Big Ugly Sports Show brought to you by the Bank of Dudley. Law continues, continues to talk every time we're coming back into the break. I held off on the mute button as long as I could. As soon as I hit it, I heard... That mouth running over there. What are you talking about? I'm trying to bring back in the break, and you're running your gator over there. Uh, and it's a talk show? Not during that time. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? It's a quiet show? I'm supposed to be quiet? During that time, yes. No. It's a talk show. I'm supposed to talk. All right, y'all. It is that time. It is time for this edition of the Bus Cup brought to you by Black Shear Beverage. We appreciate their sponsorship. Wade continues to dig hard for some questions for us. Real quick update coming into this week. Height sitting atop with 16 points. Opie and Jay both not here. Yes. With 14 points. So, Law, if you get second, because you're sitting in. Th- if you're I sit- get second, there's only yeah. two of us. You're sitting <laughs> around. You're well, there's a, I'm not there's a chance get second. you could get first. Yeah, that's what I meant. If you right. get second, not first. So, you're sitting in third with 10. So, if you get second, you'll be only down one. You'll have 13. If you get first, you'll be in a tie for second and hold and limit heights lead a little bit. So. And I'm going to win that bracket. It's it's looking like the, even if I don't win the bracket, I'm still way ahead of all of you. Yeah. Not a chance y'all can beat me. No, we're going to get points for that. So, And we said 10, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, we did. I don't remember. Last episode? No. I'll pull it up. You, you said up. a lot more than normal. You know what? That reminds me of something. Okay. I need to go back. It was back in like early January when Tiger Woods quit. He, he His contract ended with Nike Golf. Y'all stay tuned for that bus cup. Okay? And I predicted, <laughs> I predicted that he would start his own clothing line. You did. And... Now he has his own clothing line. What's the name of it? I can't remember, but it's a hideous logo. I don't like the logo. It ain't the T-W. It's, 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 no, it's just it's a tiger, but it's only yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. only like I don't know. Yeah. Do I wonder if Nike copyrighted copyrighted I'm the sure. T-W. I'm sure they did. Yeah. All right, it's time for the bus cup. So it's bad. We're dry race it. board right here for the first few questions. We've got some. But it cut me off. Wade want to do some Easter Sunday Bible trivia. Ooh, oh, my I goodness. like Bible trivia. So a little Bible trivia, all right? So I should know this. We're going to give you, you know, I don't know, six or seven seconds to write your answer down, and then we will we will talk about them. So, and it's not whoever writes down the fastest. You just write it down. You get a point if you get it. So, the first question: How many books are there in the New Testament? Oh my Jesus! Closest to it, we'll get it. Five, four, three, two, one. What do we have? 32, 26. It is 27. Give yourself a point, Law. Ooh. Eep, eep. All right. After Jesus, after Jesus was arrested, which apostle disowned him three times? Disowned him? Denied him three times. He said disowned, but... I... Three, two, one. <laughs> I said it backwards. Peter and Peter. Okay, good. So no point. Y'all don't need to give yourself a point. Both of you got it. But I'm going to give myself a point. Well, then he's got to give him. Okay. Yeah. This guy. I like to give me points. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Who worked as a tax collector before preaching the word of God? Who was a tax collector? (laughs) I'm smoke wagging. Man, if you've you've watched uh, Chosen, it's all on this. There it is. Three. You gave him a hand. One. No, I, I hadn't seen that. It is Matthew. Dang. All right, so Law gets another you point. Saul? Right. Saul ain't even a... All right. Man, I'm fanatic. So we're not going to belittle people for their answers, okay? We're not doing that here, especially not about the Bible. That's not what the Bible teaches us. <laughs> but see, there's one thing about knowledge, and there's another about application. <laughs> that's right. All right, which... which, which... <laughs> hey, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> If I say something is bad, if right, that's guy, not okay. Mine was, not mine was okay. purely, We're not mine was purely theological. I mean, purely theological. All right. Which, which prophet <laughs> is known for turning his rod into a bronze snake? Five, four, mm. three, two, one. I don't know if that's right. Moses is the answer. Law gets another point. Dang, you said prophet kind of threw me off. Here. Oh, I, and I forgot they told it. Uh, that's wait, old. When we're li- y'all need to say your answers when we so people know what y'all wrote now because that people aren't watching can't see that. So, Moses. all right, I said Moses. Two more, two more about this. What body, this, what body part did Jesus use to make Eve? Jesus, what body part are you? God, that's what I'm just reading these. Qu- <laughs> 
<laughs> God, what did God use to make Eve? All right, what, what do you got? Jesus says God. All right, what do you got? I put rib. Rib, rib it is. Okay, good. Give yourself a point. <clears throat> Last one Hold from on. this. Law, you need to get as many as you can because next is I fastest. Got, I don't like the fastest. I got five right now, by the way. Okay, I didn't ask. Nobody asked how many points you had. This guy's got three. All right. At which mountain did Moses receive the Ten Commandments? Ooh. Room. I don't know. Right. What do you have? I don't think this is a mountain. Sinai? I Sinai, Sinai is great. Yep. Okay. Give yourself points. Ooh. All right. Good job right there. Sinai so, is a peninsula. After the, after the first round of the bus cut, Law has six points and Height has... I think three. 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 Okay. Six, three. Now... I'm keeping up with his points. These are fastest. So uh, no dry no dry race. No dry race. Put, put them down. I, no dry race. I'm pretty disappointed. That's not fair. Myself. I like dry yeah, race. So then it's the fastest to what? Write it down? Yes. No. That's terrible. Okay. <sighs> You ready, Law? Shoot. No, I don't. There's probably going to be somebody. Points. That's what you What's need. What's the mascot of East Georgia College? Right, you're wasting a lot of time. I knew that one. <laughs> I knew that one. Okay. Trivia question. And you got to get the number right. Okay. It's We're not, not close writing them down. No, you just, I'm just keep keeping scoring. Right. How many colors are in the rainbow? Eight. Seven. It is seven. Uh it's eight. Roy G. Bib. Roy G. Bib. Ah, oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I knew that. Roy G. Bib. That's the one you got to have. I Lord. knew that. That was one I should have had. I'm going to try to get an answer in real Bastard's quick. not always better, though. <laughs> Did you, was you counting Roy G. Bib? Yeah, it was. was it, uh, Especially after you threw out well, the Well, I, I had to throw it out fast because I knew Adam's going to eight, seven, five, three, two, one. <laughs> and then eventually he gets it right and he gets a point. All right. Which is the most abundant element in the universe? Carbon. Oh, I know it. Five. I don't, uh, four, can I change my answer? Three. Uh, oxygen. I don't. Hydrogen. It's hydrogen. No points. I get a point. No. I get it right the second time. Yeah, but it's the first time. You just get one answer. Because if not, you'll just sit there and start ne- yelling out everything. So you get one answer. Uh, I just added that in there. That's so. not fair. Yeah, All right. You did. Hey, don't worry about changing the rules. He got a guess. I got a second guess. All right. What is the largest island in the world? Oh, shoot. Australia. Australia. Greenland. Dang. Bigger than Australia, apparently. According to according to these, that. according to the bus cup questions, it is. Huh. Well, we just don't think. All right, got to be quick here. We're still at six four. That's where yeah. we're at. We got yeah. four questions left. Right. And these are some. These are these are getting some. easier as we go to. All right, who painted the ceiling of the Sistine? Michelangelo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew. <laughs> but you weren't finished with the question. I but I knew he was going to say he that. Said, I, to I knew that. One. So do we, don't, we don't have to wait. We don't have to wait. Not okay. if you know it. No. Okay. Hey, I, just a fun fact about that. The, every go. picture of the devil on there is the facial features. The picture of the Pope at the time because he was supposed to pay Michelangelo and he never paid him for it. I'll fact check that later because it's, it's an interesting tidbit, but he is well known. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. That I've never been there. If I'd that is an inaccurate tidbit, I, there are 30 freshmen that have also received that information because he's already said that this year in class. <laughs> so I, I was taught that in art class in college at the Dublin Center. Right. We, by the way. Tell you what, for next week, fact check. That would be art 101. Okay, here we go. Next art appreciation. Question. Next question What is the longest bone in the human body? Femur. Femur. <clears throat> Okay, well, we're at 7 5. I think I got eight. No, you don't have no, you eight. You got seven. You got seven. <laughs> I think I got eight. You don't. All right, have you need to get these last two for a tie. <laughs> you got to get the last two. Law, you need one for the win. No, one out of two for I the win. I think you added a question just so he could come up back. No, I'm literally reading them off here. All right. In what country would you find the Leaning Tower of Peace? Italy. It- I don't know. Oh, here's a good questions. one to answer. Here's a good one to answer. We got six, seven. You need this one, Law? <laughs> what is the chemical. Symbol for potassium. N A C L. <laughs> that's no. sodium chloride. No, that's salt. Table salt. That's yeah. table salt. Potassium. Oh, K. 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 I said K. You'd already guessed. No, I said it the same <laughs> day. That's a tie. <laughs> that what a tie. I <laughs> mean, it pulled a K out of nowhere. <laughs> I said K at the same time. We get a, a tiebreaker question. I said it the same time. I don't, there is no tiebreaker question. I had to. I don't know. I just, but we didn't really prepare for that. This is trash. <laughs> this game is such such. Dude game. fell apart. I did. I, I because I was trying to. So how do we split the points on that? 
Let's just hey, we both we'll get you, hey, we both get four. Both get three. Both get three. That's fair. They're okay. Jera errors at Ree. That's Ree. Both get three. So she can mad you because we blocked. Driving. That's gonna put height up to nineteen. Law, you pull into. The, hey Ree, head to out to work. You tied. <laughs> hey, you pull into third place with thirteen. Close, closing the gap. Only down one now. All right. So, thank you again, Black Bible. Year Beverage, for the bus cup right there. Stay tuned next week to see if hey, Hyde can expand on his those lead some questions, more. I, hey, this is a good thing Jay didn't show up. Because not a chance Jay's answering any of those questions. <laughs> <laughs> I feel <laughs> those, those were definitely. I, I, I feel fairly certain that you would have come in second place even if Opie had been here. Really? Yeah. Well, I hope he's a you don't think Opie would? Hope he's a, I think Opie's. Well, well, he would have taken some of yours and probably taken a couple of mine. Well, what happens? He pro- no, he would have probably one. got first then. I'm going to tell no, you what I just did. A- I smoked <clears throat> Adam on the Bible questions. You did. That day. This dude's trying his best to find a victory. But then here. we'll circle back to the application and then we'll see. I mean, I thought just I could apply, apply. Okay, here we go. All right, before we get to Heights High Five, the knowledge. Braves three and one out the gate. Uh, so you, if you're, hopefully they'll be four and one by the time you're listening to this, as They're they'll play the White Sox. So they'll play this evening. Um, but put that smoke wagon on them White Sox yesterday, and took two out of three from the Phillies to open the season. So, I mean, can you not hate the Phillies? Is there any way not to hate them? Um, it's not possible unless you're Matt Serene. You, did you know that Matt Serene's mom and daddy? Lived in the house that they filmed Rocky in. You told me that. He told. It's a fun Matt, fact. He told me that one time, and I was like, I said, "That's not true." And he he was dead set. Like, yes, his parents <clears throat> were, lived in the house that they filmed Rocky in, and that's there's no way I believe that. But he to this day believes that. Hmm. Fun fact. If so, that is a, that is. A and he's a now he's a diehard dog UGA fan. But he's gonna put on a Phillies jersey. Unless the Braves are playing the World well, Series, they, I, I don't imagine like he's like Tony. Tony. <laughs> Did he do that really? Yeah, he was cheering for the Braves when he won it. So, he's like Tony Johnson. Tony Johnson roots for like Tennessee. Do you, the only reason he roots for Tennessee because all of us are Georgia fans, and he's gonna do the opposite of what we do. Boom, boom, oh boom, oh boom. All right, so what? Tell me, just what do you guys dislike the most about the Phillies? And would you say, you know, it's always been as Braves fans, we hate the Mets. The Mets, Mets, Mets. I think it's Philadelphia in general. Philadelphia in general. Is the, do you, is is the it, Phillies the most hated NL East rival for you as a Braves fan, or is it still the Mets? It's currently it's the Phillies because the Mets are trash. Uh, the Marlins, not very good. Um, so I like having that rivalry. I mean, I, I like the I Nationals like when the, are down as well. So, and Snit, Snit made while, the comments. The, the rivalry seasons. was the Mets, well, and then they're way down. And okay, thank you for saying everything we've already said. I know, I, but I like having the rivalry. That's I, I think the reason I hate the Phillies now. Yeah, but I, I remember growing up and and hating the Dodgers the same way. Which is just like well, I, I couldn't stand the Dodgers. I'm always gonna hate anybody who the Braves play. Yeah. Um. But, it, but 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 it's you know the NL East teams I I, I despise them even more. But I I mean being a long time Braves fan, you the teams that I truly can't stand is is Mets and Phillies, and 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 it's like it's not that my hatred for the Mets are not there, it's just that I don't need it right now. Yeah, it's but there. Not it's just shelved because they're no good. And to hear Brian Snicker say his family, he won't send his family mm-hmm. to any games in Philly because their fans are so bad. Just bad. Mm-hmm. So, and they then but, just what was it? Uh, who were they booing the whole series? RC. But that now he deserved that. RC. I wasn't well, well, no, he, did. it, no, he it didn't a, deserve that. He turned around and, and did something to the fans. Yeah, he he kind of when he said something about Bryce Harper and then he got in an argument with a fan. I mean, I can see, but as a fan, if I'm a Phillies fan, I'm booing him for that too. Oh, I think it I was, thought you were talking about just because what well, he made that comment he made in the clubhouse. No, no, and he got there was one he like did something to the field like some Phillies fans and it made ESPN. So I'm sure that had a lot of fuel to do with it. But yeah. and they're going they're going to boo Acuna well, yeah. too just because he's raking. So yeah, well, you, other teams always boo the. the the, the visiting team's best player. Man. That's just standard. Him and Harris. Lights out. Somebody Dude, our lineup, out. Kellenic, the, the new guy. I mean, I, Adam Duvall, love having him back. I'm, I'm, it's, it's good stuff. Somebody uh, predicted Michael Harris wins the MVP this year. I saw that. Or I, saw, I don't know if that – I saw somebody else predict that. Wood. He is lights out right now. Him, him and Arcea are – I mean, I don't think they made but three outs. Question. 
because we had this the Driggs uh, and Dwight Street. Driggs and them were doing prom. We had a West Orange prom this weekend, and he came down to DJ it. And so me and him and a former player of mine, Bronze, were sitting in the in the room talking. And um, Bronze posed the question: Try to put your Braves bias aside, which is hard to do. And if you're starting a team, you're starting a franchise. Are you taking Acuna or Otani? Well, Otani's throwing games, so. Take, take away his gambling. Take away his gambling. Is he healthy? Yeah. All right, Otani. I mean, I, I feel like you're going to get more wins out of Otani because he's going to pitch and he's going to wreck. He's going to hit. But the only thing you're not getting is what you're getting with Acuna is an everyday defender, an elite defender as well. Mm. You got a, you got an everyday offensive guy. Every five days you're getting him on the bump yeah, and five. you're getting a guy who can absolutely rake. Yeah, but, I mean, Acuna can rake. <clears throat> Yeah, but the MVP. he's not on the bump. But that's once every five get days. That's okay, but day. but it takes the place of another player though. I like I like them both. Because now, so now you can. I'm gonna take both of them. Now right, let's say okay, Otani's not pitching. Who you taking Acuna then? Now because you got another guy who's still absolutely rake. So you just DHing him? He can play first. Know. He's a big guy. He's a big body. Um, if if he's not pitching, I will take Acuna. That's my favorite money ball clip. When the when they're sitting down with the Hatterberry guy and they're telling him, "All right, we're gonna pitch you at first. He said, "Easy position to learn." Tell him, "Watch." He said, "Most difficult position to play." <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part of it. <laughs> All right, so we'll table some of that talk for later. Before we get to our heights, high five. Let me see. Is it time? Was that wash? Wash. Uh, wrong that wash. wash. Mm. Okay. Sorry. Let, let's go ahead and hit our last commercial break because on the other side we do going to announce our Brian Subs winner, and you're going to want to hear this heights high five. And we got to get to. Heights, Dudley Lily incident. So y'all stay with us. We'll be right back. Bank of Dudley is proud to sponsor the Big Ugly Sports Show. Wherever you're listening to your favorite sports show, you can also be banking with your favorite bank. Bank of Dudley offers mobile and online banking platforms to make managing your money easy. Get on that Bank of Dudley bus. Bank of Dudley since 1905. Member FDIC. Welcome back to the Big Ugly Sports Show, brought to you by the Bank of Dudley. It is time right now. For our Brian's Subs winner of the week. So thank you to Brad Meeks and the gang over at Brian's Giant Subs for their continued sponsorship. And let's see who's going to win this week. You ready, Height? You ready, Height? Bing! Dude, oh, that's Height's that's thing. That, <laughs> and he went Bing over there. I said Bing. God, I like that. Now, that, now everybody's so disappointed. I'm sorry. But this week's winner <laughs> is Paul Lay. <laughs> So shout out to Mr. Paul Lay. Mr. Lay. His uh, his wife Anna teaches at West Lawrence High School. So Paul, go by and enjoy a free half sub courtesy of Brian's Giant Subs. Tell them the bus team sent you and enjoy that. It's good eating. Had some Friday for prom. Delicious. And you can go on Mondays now. Can go on Mondays. That's a good call. All Mondays, uh, they are now open on Mondays. So you can you can fill that void there. You know what time it is. We ain't had one in a while. In a minute. Five thirty in the morning on the bus we ride. Give me your ears for heights high five. Ski yee, ski yee. Gosh, we gotta get Roger back in the lab, man. He's, he's a busy man these days. He said he's gonna come. He said I'm assuming he meant next week because he said I'm gonna come on the show. He wants to talk about the incident we're gonna talk about later, or we can hold it depending on time. But we can tease him all the way next week. But he has some input on your. Situation at the little league that he wanted to be here, so I'm assuming he's planning on coming next week. But he should have been here this week. I want to hear about the the incident. Well, you're gonna hear about it. All right, what's the high five, Hike? So this is gonna be a little bit controversial. <laughs> That's the best kind. Uh, I went ahead and did a on the way up. For those of you, you're not in our text. You know, uh, Law offered to he offered to buy us breakfast or drink this morning. I. And I wanted a coffee. He didn't buy me one because he was trying to get a leg up on me on the bus cup. But anyway, it didn't work. It's not anyway. true. Not um, true. He, he waited. He, Chuck, just well, like Chuck. You, shh. Mm. Chuck asked for Pepsi, and then uh, Law said he didn't like buying Pepsi products. It got me Pepsi thinking. Products. Okay. Got me thinking. What top five sodas? Your top five. My top five. Okay. And and it's you know people are going to have some things to say. I'm sure. I know Law will for sure. But whose list is it? 
This heights list. But <laughs> I, I just encourage you to have your own list. Be thoughtful like I've been on this. Number five, coming in number five, orange soda. What? Orange? Any particular or just? Any orange soda. Uh, Fanta is Fanta? pretty solid for me. Yeah. Okay. I, I like orange soda. Yeah, now, is there summer. certain times of year you really like it or you, you go like It's summertime? kind of a summer. It's a, it's it's a summertime. spring, summertime. Fresh drink. out of a body of water? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, right. And, and the orange soda's down and you can drink too fast, too. Yeah, and if I could have opened this up to any, I, any drink at all. That's, Haley, that's what Haley's summertime drink. Well, me and Haley are pretty tight, so Sun I mean, I'm not surprised. Sun kissed. Um, number four, Dr. Pepper. I solid. like a Dr. Just Pepper. Just a solid Dr. Pepper. Mitch doesn't like a Dr. Pepper. I don't like Dr. Pepper. It tastes like medicine. Make some good yeah. medicine. Not good. It doesn't taste like medicine. Mm-hmm. Um, Makes me want to vomit. Well, really? I don't but, know. So if you hey, drink one right now, on you get I mean, I'll drink it. I'll hold drink on a second. Hold on a second. Dr. Pepper? No. Cigarette smoke? Yes. I don't understand how one makes him why want to vomit. Why is, I, I, don't, mean, the, I don't get, I don't get it. it. I don't get why it on a weekly basis. Some things just circle back there. You know what? I mean, you sometimes know. you can't help it. it. Keeps the worms away. And you, <laughs> tobacco keeps the worms away. I believe that. I, I believe that. According, like, according you, to Surgeon General, you feel it's like you're it's getting, healthy for you. It's I don't. For you to I'm, I'm feel, I feel a little cold coming on. Let me burn one down to make the cold go away. Yeah. That's a do, you, I, do you ever see Law with a cold? I'm gonna say no. Law no. I miss cold. way less no. days than Adam Hightower. I would say, as a prediction from school. That's fair. So, so That's maybe fair. Adam should not, take up smoking. But it's not because I'm sick. <laughs> My take it kids, right. my kids should take up smoking. Hey, take there you up go. smoking. There you go. Because they, they're the one that's making me miss all. <laughs> well, what's number three? Number three, grape soda, Welch's. Oh my I grape soda. Like my, oh, my Welch's granddad. not like. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say Welch's. Uh, like a fan or something. Like a grape. Uh, mint, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I meant grape soda. I didn't mean to say. Okay. I didn't okay, mean not grape like, juice. Yeah, not grape or juice. Fanta. Sorry. Fanta does a good sure. grape soda. He went. I didn't mean, <laughs> I didn't mean I, knee, I, high. <laughs> knee high. <laughs> Knee high. I maybe. do love a grape I, soda. I miss fuck. I do love a grape but soda. But grape soda coming in at three. Not that y'all care at all, but I can remember this takes me back way when my granddad was a sheriff in Tombs County and I was yes, real we little. know your granddaddy's sheriff. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Hi. Murder, murder capital sorry. of the world. Murder capital. So he's busy. <laughs> I can remember busy, going yeah. I can remember going afternoons after school to his to the his where his office was at the old courthouse. And they had one of them old vending machines in there. I'd get them uh, barbecue uh little Fritos. Uh huh. Yeah. And a grape soda, my and I would go. No joke, I would go sit in the cell with the prisoners and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> that shows you how times have changed. They had they, the ones that they would call like walk arounds or the, like the good ones. It makes me think like, of like uh, walk around. Uh, they called them walk around. Makes me think of Andy Griffith. Yeah, they, they just leave the cell unlocked, hey. and they can come and go as they please. <laughs> Swear they would. Now he couldn't leave. The, he couldn't go out. But they would. Leave, I would literally go. I'd go. He had a little TV in there. I'd go sit in his in the jail. <laughs> My granddad wouldn't even be in there. I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> He'd just wait for me to die in there. But I did. I would. No, he knew. He knew Times have changed. I guess no lines. He's now, a good now, old boy. Now little old lady's getting beat to death at Chatters. That's too sad. Oh, law. That happened. I know it did. That's what I'm saying. Times have changed. You gotta watch yourself talking about tombs like that now. I ain't talking about tombs. I'm talking about the crazy people. And lions. Crazy. Which is in tombs. Bloody, bloody some some, some call, call it lions. What do you call it? Some call it lions. You told me I had a nickname. It was bloody, bloody tombs. Bloody tombs. That's what they got. All right, right circling back, back to high side five. Yeah, it's got a little high it did, it did. <laughs> My granddaddy turned me on to grape soda, too. That's, we, we used to go to 441. He always had some grape sodas. It's a staple of granddads. All right, go ahead. You out there on the on the... Airwaves, I'm sorry for law. <laughs> Just continually interrupt me. That's where it's at. Okay. Number two. In the cloud. Nobody knows how the cloud works. That's <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Clayton. Uh, he Can we get to number two? He told two? me he texted me something. I said, I ain't going to say, what's up in the cloud? <laughs> uh, number two, root beer. Uh, A&W. Big no. A&W root beer. Uh, uh, I'm out. Love me a root beer. No, only I'll eat that at Brian, drink that at Brian. So if that's it. I hate a root beer. That's, Love a root that's beer. worse than Dr. Pepper. You got your list. I got mine. <laughs> I was with you all the way. Now, so now far, your list And now, sucks. number one, and I know I'm going to catch some heat Can on I this guess one. it? Can I guess it? Yeah. Say Coca-Cola. Is, is it, is it a, does it have a flavor in it? No. Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't know. I was going to guess. The uh, belly washer. Mm-hmm. It's Coke Zero. You suck, dude. That's a suck list. The, and and I, <laughs> I wanted to go Coke, but I don't even drink Coke anymore. Well, I drink but, Diet Coke now. Well, I, it's not because I don't. I actually prefer the taste of Coke, regular Coke, more no. than Coke Zero. I but, bet he was a new Coke guy. <laughs> well, I mean, I was born after that time. So you yeah, like, I, like, I got to ask you, have you, you like and, and I've always been 
Shelby loves Diet Cokes. I've always been a Coke Zero. And I thought of her when I made this list because I know she loves Diet Coke. Loves it. But have you tried? I'm just asking. And don't if you hadn't, don't turn. Have you tried the Pepsi Max? No. Hi. Never even heard of Stop. it. Stop. It's the zero sugar of Pepsi. Phenomenal. Why do you keep? I wanted him to get me. I got it yesterday. So here's what. Next time you go, and you won't like Coke Zero no more. I promise. Okay. Now Diet Coke and Coke way better than Pepsi and Diet Pepsi. But that Pepsi Zero, Pepsi Max. This guy. Puh. I don't know. It's good. Okay. Try it. Okay. it might, no, might shake that list up. Don't buy Pepsi stuff. Do you remember when this guy told us, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to quote this right, that he had his big gulp one day, and we asked him if he had his Diet Coke, and he told us, no, some research had come out that Diet Coke was bad for you, so he had regular Coke. <laughs> yes, I remember that. I did. I did. I had, and I still, I still about, <laughs> at the house, Haley buys regular Coke. For me, but on because it's not morning, real sugar in it. It's so much healthier. No, in the mornings I get a diet coat. I don't know. I don't know what, but there's something in that coat that's bad for you. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in both of them bad. For no, you. there's something like real bad. One of them a key. You, some of you medical professionals that listen. To hey, the show, but cigs, which are probably nothing three bad in cigs though. Three. <laughs> That's the third or maybe fourth reference today. And Spanky's cat no, right now. Love it. I mean, I just don't even get it. Hey, and Spanky also. Do. I can't wait to bring up any bad thing that y'all do. All right, we got to talk about Dudley now. Spanky, Spanky brings, he brings, obviously he's trying to separate himself as our number one loyal fan because he tells me he tells me on Wednesdays he listens to this to and from work and then when he gets home watches it on TV too so, <laughs> so he can see everybody's reactions. So he's getting a double dose each week. I'm going to start embellishing my reactions just for Spanky. Just for Spanky. We had a little daylight outside this morning, boys. Hey, for spring break. Usual. All right, all right. Tell us a little bit about, and, and do you want me to tell you what I heard first? I love it. That's what I want to okay. do. I want to hear your, so what I, you've heard. I, and this person's going to name I Anonymous. Bet, you can I tell bet, me I bet he was using profanities. Negative. No, he, got, he got a team point deducted from wrestling for using profanity. This is the text I get. I did not say a profanity. <laughs> this was Saturday. Freaking, at, freaking in my house. Saturday right. at 1 p.m. <laughs> this is a profanity. Saturday at 1 p.m. I get a text. It says, potential show content for next week. Just got word. Height about got tossed from his son's little league game today. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get details. And my response, I need all the details, please. He said... This is the word he got. There was a play at first, and the first a- first base umpire said he dropped it, so he was called safe. But Hightower was arguing that it was on the transfer. I think it was because Hightower was dropping a few smart A comments. Shocker. And the first base umpire got blowed. Height came out on the field, too. And let me remind you, this was a seven, eight-year-old game. That was, that was the, word, <laughs> that's the word I got. And then I had somebody else text me about it, too. So that's... You come out today. That, that's word for word what I got. There's some shades of truth in that. Okay. Okay. That the play, the way the play was described, that is accurate. It is 78 year old. Smart A comments from you, 100% okay. accurate. Has to yes. be. Yes. Yes. But I did not use any profanity. I did not. They, they come, didn't say profanity. No okay. Profanity. I did not come out on. I did not get out on the field. You didn't I, step out. Let's just say the gate of the dugout. You were did you I was already standing against Dudley rules. We were all because they don't enforce it. But I was already standing. We were already standing right there at the edge, right the edge of the dugout. So I mean, I was like just standing there. I didn't take any steps to the guy or anything. Um. But so yeah, the play was at first. Uh, we made a play. First baseman catches it. And he goes to throw it to the, you know, he goes to get it out of his glove and he drops it. And uh, I know I saw it because the first baseman is left-handed. And I Perfect saw Perfect angle. Yeah, and he's turned right there. Guess who, guess who couldn't see it? Umpire. Umpire. Um, so he goes safe. He, he, safe. He, he called him out, then changed it to safe. Um, anyway, that guy gets on first base. And and I'm you know we're all of us are saying no that's not right, and he sticks with his call, um, and so then I asked the home plate umpire can you know is there do you see did you see anything different? And he said well that's not my call that's his call, and I I don't think that's you know that's not that's not the way it goes. He just said I didn't see it. Yeah, Could just say I, I, I didn't it. see okay. it. Yeah, yeah. It's not like well that's his I can't say it. No, you know if you saw something you can say it. Mm-hmm. But anyway, uh, then I. Wrong. I was wrong, and I, I, I admit I was wrong. But I did say. Did you call him an idiot? No, I said without it, saying those words. I said, it sounds like it. I did. I said two things I shouldn't have said. I said you're stupid. Is no. I said, is this your first time calling a game? Yikes! 
How was this a uh, high and I, school? And I no, it was an adult. And I knew it wasn't his first time calling a game. And I shouldn't have said it. But I was, you <laughs> but know, at the time it felt good. Well, After I, the show, I got to know who the umpire was. You got to. We'll me. talk about it off there. Uh, anyway, um, so then, then this is why they have trouble finding umpires because of people like I told. Hey, mind you, listeners, real quick, just mind you, these are all volunteer <laughs> umpires, <laughs> not paid, <laughs> not getting no paid. Way. But you know what? They step twenty of them lines. I mean, they gonna catch a little bit of and, heat. And, and and one Mike Thompson was talking to me about it. This and, is why Mike going, has trouble. And that's what he said. Bit. He said, "This is why I have trouble." And that's what, and Hype won't umpire. And Hype I've offered the umpire. Hype, he said, "I told Thompson." He said, I "Hype will. says no." Meanwhile, he's yelling at the people that are that's volunteering. Not, he called I didn't me. Yell. I didn't yell. And he I calls have, me constantly to go umpire. And Mike I, Thompson. This is the exact reason why Mike I Thompson. Because I'm dealing with idiots like this and a seven eight year old. Don't be an idiot, Thompson. I told him. I told him. Stupid idiots like this guy. No, I told Thompson I'll umpire early games. He always. Me get a late what game. was the second thing you said? That you and so then the guy's on first base, and I still got. A, I'm still a little hot under the collar. So this is after this is this. We we've, we've settled that the play standing. Okay. Okay. Which after my first comment was after that point too. But uh, so then I, I you know, all right, boys, let's make a play, make up for his mistake. Is what I said. <laughs> Yikes. And I shouldn't have said either one of those. You know, but you realize as an uh, unpaid official, or because the games I have done. What you're doing to your team is now you're getting no calls the rest of the game. None. No calls. Any close calls going to the other team. Yeah. You do understand that. Yeah. That you just did that to your team. I'm just glad he didn't have his bus shirt on there. <laughs> so, anyway, then, then they did call a conference at the mound. Or she met home plate. And Hold discussed. on now. I didn't hear. Okay. Not with me. Good. Not with me. <laughs> about you. They didn't yeah, even, yeah, let, him. About me. They didn't even let him in the conference. That, well, yeah, I'm not the head coach. <laughs> Oh, so, so you have no say so. You don't even get to argue calls. He argued. Go you ahead. You don't up. get to argue. Tell One me. thing I love about the United States of America here. No, you can, I'm going to tell you where you can tell argue what, from. Go. Outside that stadium is where you can argue from. What was said at the home plate? Well, I don't know. I wasn't privy. Surely uh, they told you. Um, well. Uh, hi. Sorry, bud. You, you got to go. <laughs> no, no. no it, it's, you need to get out of it. You know, so after the inning's over and that run did score, okay, it cost us. Um, Y'all lose again? It did. Not by one. Uh, Wheels fell off towards the end, but that really is kind of what set us in that direction. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, they cut, it was uh, our head coach uh, and both the umpires, and they had a little little talk. And, and they agreed. I knew. Everybody, everybody knew it was about, you know, I, I was wrong. And so, anyway, they didn't have to say anything. I, I already, I was already, guilt had already kicked in at this point. <laughs> How bad is, is the so, Hightower family? And the spectators that are there watching your kids, that would be Baby's family and, and everybody. How bad are they embarrassed that you have just embarrassed the entire Well, no, it was it was kind of low-key. Uh, it don't sound like it. They called a, a meeting yeah, at I the saw, plate about it. Like, yeah, we're going to discuss his actions. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't publicize. How, they how didn't they publicize. Have, hey, have, they have made it this was game. The, it was in between innings. Nobody really probably knew even what was going on. Um, so anyway, after the game, I went and apologized, and I said, "Hey, man, that, that's got nothing to do with you. It's not about you. I was wrong." I said, "This is my problem. I've got, you know, I've got, you got issues. You I, got I just personal. <laughs> I've got issues. You, got, you should have said I got personal say, issues. And I, I want to say this. And issues. y'all need to talk to Buck. Buck Benton. He and I coached together when, when I was young, before I got saved. I've come a long way. Okay, I've come a long way. Did he say bite me? To your response, to your apology, no. Okay, he he was gracious. Okay, um, and I Good appreciate that. Shout out to that guy. Did yeah, he, give you I, he was gracious. Speaking of Bible application, shout out to that guy. Yes, he 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 was the he did the, he he yeah he, he was, was just the talking man. about my Bible application. <laughs> application. But you know what? The Bible talks about having showing grace to people. That's he right. showed me some grace. He extended me grace, and I was appreciative of that. Golly, what a what a sip to end the show right there. My heavens, Chug R Us. What you got, I bring it home. <laughs> I like how we revolved it back to me. Let's let's stay on hot how he just <laughs> Why we gotta go? Let's well, go. Let's discuss more how hot has disappointed you know the show. Going, you know, but at Lawrence but, County, but his Opie's family. Need to, hey, his next children. week, ne- <laughs> next week, bring that back up because Opie, I'm sure, would love to talk about this. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. I just got, I just got too much dog in me. He does have a lot. Let's try it again. <laughs> let's try it again. Hi, right, bring us home. Hey, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, be sure to give us a a, a look 
on uh, Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> YouTube, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts. Give us a, a share. Give us a follow. Give us a subscription. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Wherever you at. Whatever you're doing. Yes, sir. www.thebiguglysportshow.com. Tell somebody about us. It's a movement. It's a movement, law. You don't want to miss out. You want to get on this bus with us every week. Thank you for your time. Again, to our sponsors, we love you. We appreciate you. Whatever you're doing today and wherever you're at, you know what to do. Tell them, Hype. Get on that bus. Smoke that shit, boy. And they swishing, 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 swishing. Yeah, they swishing, 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 swishing. Swishing, 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 swishing.